in the film The Commuter from 2018 with Liam Neeson. With seven minutes into the film, the number 101 all over the screen. Why? Well, the number 101 is very much related with something bad, like getting tortured, getting killed, or just losing one's life. And exactly at this moment in the movie, Liam Neeson just lost his job and got sacked by his boss, making him feel as if he lost his life and means of existence. So here, it's, uh, here you see Liam Neeson in the uh, movie The Commuter. And here he just comes out of the um, out of the office where his boss just kicked him out and um, he lost his job. And immediately they show the 101. Yeah. You understand? So therefore, once again, the number 101. Because our masters know exactly what they're doing. So Liam Neeson was just in room 101, so to speak, where he lost his job, which was a painful experience for the, uh, the character in the movie um, being kicked out of his job. So, so to speak, he was in room 101, where there's torture, where there are not very nice things happening. And as I told you, the uh, 101 represents the sun hieroglyph, also called the sun hieroglyph. As in my film, The Pharaoh Show, from the year 2005. And the sun hieroglyph stands for the winged sun disk of Horus. Therefore, on the badges of the Alien Covenant movie, with the badges therefore saying 101. So this is the Alien Covenant movie. Here you see the sun hieroglyph, which is a one horizontally and the O here and here, which is the, uh, the Horus sun disk, actually. The winged sun disk of Horus, which you can see here. And these badges, they show exactly this here with the Valent Yutani in the Alien Covenant uh, movie. And it all has a meaning. So this symbol here, it does say 101. Well, if you got your back or your stomach exploding with a monster popping out, you might assume having a bad day with the 101 striking again. Like the bloke of the commuter movie coming home to his wife saying, Honey, I had one of those 101 days again. Where I got attacked by the 101 all over, even on the windows, straight in my face, so I couldn't miss it. Just another day at the office. So you see it, here's Liam Neeson here as well. It's everywhere, 101, 101, even on the windows, 101, 101. So it must be really important to them. So the movie is from 2018, and as they give messages away of something bad coming up, the 101 is coming up, well, what happened the next year in 2019? Well, Pharaoh's poison, eh? like an alien coming into your system, right? So here to the right, you can't even see the actor anymore and only the number, like here, it's everywhere. So the number is more important than the actor. And all these videos, movies, just before 2019, when Pharaoh's poison came, 
you know, they showed in all these movies right before the 101 all over, meaning something bad coming up, like Room 101 is coming up, or the Horus Matrix, people dying. And that happened in 2019. So you see, people, you can't even see the actor anymore. So, I mean, what kind of a movie is this? They, you can't even see the, the actor disappeared, you know. And it's only the 101 is left all over. 101, 101, 101. With the circle for the compass in the middle. And so, look around if you see the 101, you know. If they're organizing something again something coming up something bad world war three or another pharaoh poison in part one of the room 101 series i showed you how the nazis had the notorious police battalion 101 of the horrendous einsatzgruppen who genocided 100,000 jaywalker men, women, and children by the 101 Nazi detachment. Then, only 10 years after the war, the jaywalkers of the JJ Bays in the Orient formed their own 101 Special Forces unit in 1955, which is, to my humble opinion, just as incoherent as selling yourself to the world as God's chosen people. How can God's chosen people be so incredibly undivinely blind and ungodly short-sighted as to honor the 101 Nazi battalion integrated into their own jaywalker army only 10 years after the end of the Second World War. How could you possibly do that? Now you see, the Special Forces Unit 101 is formed. Here you see Moshe Dayan, the general, and all the other guys. This is in 1955. Right? where the memories of the um, of the butchery and the whole catch are still very much alive in 1955. You know, the 101 is a very bad number, and I've shown that to all over everywhere. So I'll let you read it yourself. I mean, this is so incoherent, you know. I don't even want to read it for you. It's... I better stop saying more now. God's chosen and the devil's chosen, both using the evil 101 of the Horus winged sun disc. <laughs> Quite peculiar, I'd say. It says Horus, the 101, Horus. The Horus Nazi wings. You see, it's the same thing. The Nazis use the same Horus wings. You know, it's the same people in charge anyway. You know, in all the countries, they rule the whole world. These Nazi Templars or Pharaoh, or Pharaoh's nobility. Well, there you go. And even the number 101, can you imagine? You know, look, it's all the same. And we're all being betrayed by the enemy within of Pharaoh's nobility on all key positions. All these army wings come out of Egypt and represent Horus, the one-eyed god, whom the Muslims call the Dajjal, with the Horus winged sun disc. Both the Germans and the Jaywalkers have the 101 and the Horus wings on their army badges, and both the Germans and the Jaywalkers believe these pharaonic lies by their equally pharaonic governments. All peoples of the world should team up together in a vertical war to stop Pharaoh's horizontal wars. 
So it's all from Egypt here, the Horus wings, the winged sun disk of Egypt, which the Nazis had. This is a falcon. It's not a eagle. And here's the, the, the winged sun disk. Here in the JJ base by the by the uh, Jaywalkers, it even they even call it the 101, and it has a serpent here, like Pharaohs having the serpent um, on his uh, head. So here he's got the sun disc uh, over his head or around his head. Horus does, and here they got the Uraeus cobra. Uh, serpents and it's it is a cobra they also call this detachment the 101 jj base detachment they also call it the cobra so there you go it's all the same and um, it's all by egypt it's all by pharaoh so here it is about the the winged uh, sun disc of ancient Egypt and in ancient Egypt the symbol is attested from the old kingdom Sneferu uh, 26th century before Christ often flanked on either side with a Uraeus cobra that's a Uraeus well didn't we just see that the cobra snake on the badge of the um, on the Jaywalker Army 101 uh, of the JJ base oh <laughs> you know that's why Yes, just like the winged uh, sun disk of uh, Horus, which we can see here one more time here. This is the Uraeus snake here on each side. And uh, here some more, which is quite interesting. In Mesopotamia, in Iran, and also in, uh, I'm not allowed to pronounce this, this is the JJ base. And from around the 8th century BC, the winged solar disk appears on Hebrew seals connected to the royal house of the kingdom of Judah. Many of these seals are jar handles from the Hezekiah reign, together with the inscription Lamelech, belonging to the king. Uh, typically, uh, Hezekiah's royal seals feature the two downward pointing wings in six rays. Um, emanating from the central sun disk and some are flanked on each side with the Egyptian Ankh symbol. Prior to this, there are examples from the seals of servant of King Ahaz and of King Uzziah. Compare also Malachi 4. Uh, Malachi is the name used by the author of the book of Malachi. Well, I don't know if it's the Bible or the uh, the Torah. And it's referring to a winged son of righteousness. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of right righteousness arise with healing in his wings. I told you, all religion. So that's Malachi 4.2 are the King James Version. So it's in the Bible and also in the Torah. So it's the, the Old Testament, as they say. I told you, all religion is from pharaoh everything and um and it is the horrors um winged sun disc so that means the things we see in mesopotamia and in babylon they are not older than ancient egypt egypt it says also in the bible the egyptians are the oldest people in the world and um it's all from egypt you know horus it's the Horus winged sun disk in Mesopotamia from Egypt. So this is the website about them. HR Giga, Hans Ruedi Giga. And here the Ridley Scott's uh, film uh, Alien. Uh, and here it says um, he was born here in Switzerland, and he died in Zurich in Switzerland. He also had a girlfriend, the Swiss actress Lee Toba, Tobler, and she killed herself in 1975. You know, I guess why, eh? Yeah, there she is, the whole girly. And um, so I'll let you read it yourself here. So, yeah, uh, here it says Giga's Alien, 1979. 
uh, Necronomicon. Oh, it's all about it's all about death, and you know, Gigas Art has greatly influenced tattooists and fetishists and uh, whatnot. And um, so here, you know, he's the guy behind all the Alien movies. This one, Alien, Aliens, Alien Three. And here, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs. Predator, Alien vs. Predator, Requiem, etc., well, etc. Et the Alien, the Covenant, there you go. That's the one, eh? That's the one we're talking about. And etc., etc. You got a lot of recognition. Um, well, you read it yourself. So, this is Swiss guy behind Alien. These creatures communicate through secret messages with each other as a part of a global invasion over this earth, keeping humanity as their livestock in total slavery. Therefore, looking around outside to find their symbols in stone, in publicity, on police cars, at the Justice Department, and other of their authorities, is the same as scrutinizing their movies that are always full of pharaonic objects. As these very shocking army badges on the uniforms of the colonizers of a new habitable planet in the movie Alien Covenant, from 2017, where they give out the creepy message how the pharaonic masters invaded planet Earth, exterminating the original Earthlings through demon-like beings. In the movie, the masters of Pharaoh's nobility also called the Aryans from Ari On, are plainly telling their own history and how they wiped out the locals from planet Earth, who were some Neanderthal like prehistoric race, of whom we still find skeletons today, about which they tell us that they are our ancestors of humanity. And what the intel and message of the movie definitely proves wrong, that the Neanderthals supposedly are our ancestors, as this genocide took place on planet Earth, also called the Reset or the Horus Matrix. So these are the badges of the movie Alien Covenant from 2017, just before the real evil came in 2019. And here it says Covenant, and here too Covenant, together with the winged sun disk of Horus, which the Nazis also show. And I'm going m much deeper into this here later on in the video. A covenant, as in the title of this alien movie, is part of an alliance. So a covenant is like the agreement and the written part of an alliance, if you want. So an alliance and covenant with whom? Or with what? With something very evil, that's for sure. Otherwise, they wouldn't show the 101 all the time. So, this is the 101, just like this one. If you put it up, it's a 1, and they do put it up in many of these symbols, and here as well. So, it says 101, just like in that Freemason Lodge in that Russian video, uh, Silver Skates. And there's one too. You've got the wing here and the wing here, and you've got the O in the middle here. And you can put the wings up, like this one here. And this one they showed it all the time in the movie Alien 
covenant. So it says alien covenant. It's a covenant with aliens. It really says it, you know, like here, alien covenant. Yeah. And I just showed you this head before with the Swiss flag. And you might say, oh, it's Swissy again. You know, you really exaggerate it. But the alien movie, it was a Swiss idea by a Swiss guy called Giga. Swissy is always into it, eh? Always in it somewhere and everywhere and always. So the covenant, I just show you the picture before where it really says here with the, with the winged sun disc of Horus, it says the covenant. And we see it everywhere in all these towns, everywhere. The covenant. This is the covenant. You know, the covenant of the Horus Matrix, you know, doing a genocide, you know, now and then. So here you see a small screenshot from the movie Alien Covenant, the Alien Covenant, a covenant with the aliens, yeah. And here he has this badge here where it says Covenant, and here is the Horus uh, winged sun disc. And here it says this Wayland Yutani. It's probably a company or something. We will probably pop up the a company with the very same name in the near future. You know. So here's the comparison. This is ancient Egypt. This is the Horus winged sun disc. So this is the sun disc and here are the wings. And here is the um the logo on the badge, which you can see here from the movie. And it's exactly the same thing. You know, there are three rows. So you've got this part here, which is exactly this here. So here are three rows, one, two, three, and here also one, two, three. So you've got the feathers here on the ancient Egyptian thing, and you'll find it back here on the on the badge of the uh, the military invaders, and you got this one part here, which is this here, this row, and then you got this here, which is this, and then you have the sun disc, which is exactly the same thing. So, you know, it really is the covenant is with Horus. You know, there's no doubt. And as I told you, we're being ruled by. The Egyptians by Pharaoh and their base is Switzerland. So, and on the Space Invader Army badges, it says Covenant together with the Horus winged sun disk. So, on the insignia, it shows the Horus winged sun disk covenant, meaning that the covenant is with Pharaoh. And more specifically, with Horus and the Horus Matrix, meaning the genocide and recreation of the males into soy boys through all these horizontal wars where the men die by the millions, leaving their pregnant women behind who will raise the baby boys new from scratch and not anymore after the image of God and creation, but after the image of the evil ones of Pharaoh's nobility. Just as the pink list killers massively advocate to kill the patriarchy, in all their protest marches, which is in fact an appeal for violence, for genocide, and for the Horus Matrix by our masters. To kill the patriarchy means to kill the fathers. From the Latin word pater, meaning father. So when it says here by the pink list killers, uh, these ones here, to kill the patriarchy, it means the Horus Matrix. To kill the fathers and to raise the sons new from scratch and make another product out of them. And here it says the Horus Matrix, an appeal for violence that these ones do. And this is one of their flags here. And 
of the pink list killers, of these ones who want to kill the patriarchy, to uh, reshape and recreate the males new in another form, like not anymore after the image of God. And now I'm going to show you what some Englishman, what he made out of this. So if you see this flag here and you put one here upside down or here to the right and here underneath and here from the left, you get this uh, swastika, which is not a coincidence, by the way, because this is a Templar V and it is the Nazi Templars. And well, I didn't make this, but it was Lawrence Fox, an English guy of the Reclaim Party, which is a political party. I'm not sure if he is the one who, who made this really, but he published it. And he got a lot of problems because of all these very violent pink list killers who do this appeal for violence against, um, against the patriarchy. And I suppose Lawrence Fox, he is a father, so he's part of the patriarchy, and they say it, you know, black and white, or rather pink and white, that they want to kill the fathers and the patriarchy, which is the Horus Matrix. And you can read it in this book here, written by a religious Christian and a, a jaywalker from Israel, that in fact... Uh, the top Nazis, they were all pink list killers. So go find yourself the pink swastika. And um, that gives all the proofs and all the facts that this is very real. And if you look at this here, you know, from the side of the, uh, the invisible world and demons and all this, you know, uh, the demons, they know that this, you know, that this thing here, they will make this here. I can't even pronounce all the words, you know, because of the um, the complete censorship and dictatorship we're in. And also watch my videos that um, which add to this here, and most of all about the uh, the new uh, right wing parties that are all all the chiefs and leaders of the new right wing parties. They're all pink list killers. And what I didn't find in this book here was like Jutta Rüdiger, who was the head of the Bund Deutscher Mädels, and some other very high-ranked uh, pink list killers in top Nazi positions during World War II and now afterwards. So maybe these guys here, if they would watch my videos, they can make a new edition. I've got nothing against it that they use my information on this. Just leave me the honor that I told them. So, so this is a reality. It's, and all the proofs are here. So there's no disinformation here. And again, I didn't make it. I'm only telling about this, how um, Lawrence Fox published this. So, okay. So don't censor my videos and put me in prison because I talk about this. You know, in Europe nowadays, you know, if you talk about these ones here with all these colors and, you know, the uh, the pink list killers, if you, if you talk about it and say something they don't want to hear, you go to prison. You know, it's, um, it's a horrible situation. You know, it's a Nazi situation. You know, it's all connected anyway. So going back to this picture, it says eliminate the fathers and raise their sons new from scratch, which is the Horus Matrix. And look how horrible they make the fathers look like, you know, ready to be killed, you know, doesn't matter anyway. Look, look how horrible and ag sort of an aggressive face, you know. So this is definitely, th they're telling the story of this planet and all the horizontal wars and how they um, how they kill the fathers, pater in Latin it means father. Kill the patriarchy, what the pink list killers say, you know. And uh, so this is what's happening. And they showed openly, you know, for those who understand, in in the movies. 
It's definitely the Horus Matrix being shown here. And this is what happened to our planet, you know, the Horus Matrix. And as the title of the movie, Alien Covenant, so this apparently is an alien covenant, you know, killing the patriarchy. It's, it's, uh, it's an evil idea. And um, so I suppose, I assume, they are not even lying, that it is an alien covenant. I mean, how, how would you as a normal person, you know, get an idea like this, you know, to, to kill the fathers in all these horizontal wars, just to raise uh, mankind or the males new from scratch? You know, it, it, it's, it's an alien idea, you know. I, w I wouldn't invent an idea like this, you know, and, and do something horrible like this. And it's so obvious in the movie. They, they tell a lot of truth in all these movies. And, uh, and this is funny too. You see all these dead people, you know, they were burned like or with a sort of a bomb. Uh, and, and look what's walking around here in the middle of it. And here's also this wing thing, you know. And the covenant, again, I'll show you the covenant once more. And the covenant is with Horus which is a sort of, he's flying around like an alien. You know? And it's all coming from Egypt. And of course, they're Swiss based because uh, the alien movie is um, by this Swiss guy, uh, Giga. So here it is again. The, this is the covenant with Egypt, with the, uh, with the win winged sun disk of Horus. It's all over. This is the covenant, the Horus Matrix. This is here it says. And this part here, you know, it's like it's the sun hieroglyph here, uh, as it is here. And you can buy these, you know, with the covenant and the Horus Matrix, you know, on a head, just like in the movies. I guess the, these things are being bought massively by the pink list killers. And they put on that T-shirt, that pink T-shirt, and say, kill the patriarchy together with the badger, which is the covenant with Horus. So here is the beast, alien covenant, as in my film, the Swiss beast, home of the devil, where the seven hills are, where Hitler was financed, etc. This is the beast. So in numbers, the 101 stands for Horus. And this here, the whole Second World War was a Horus matrix. You know, killing the patriarchy, you know, and with all the pink list killers in key positions, you know, in, uh, at, in the Nazi party, killing the patriarchy. And this is what happened. All the fathers died and their sons... You know, they're kind of lost, you know, and, and the grandsons in this uh, era, in, this, in the end times, so to speak. So here's 101, the Horus Matrix for the Second World War. Just in this, as in that video, the, um, the alien covenant, the covenant with Horus and Egypt. To understand the Horus Matrix, one must know the Egyptian mythology of Isis, Osiris, Set, and Horus. And while telling you the Isis story and explaining you the Horus Matrix, I'll show some pictures from the Alien Covenant movie and how they are walking around with their occult badges showing their pharaonic belief system while they're telling how they genocided earth and practice the ancient pharaonic Horus matrix by killing those dangerous males who wanted to defend the human nest against the alien invaders the movie tells it all and even much more Isis was pregnant with her son Horus when Set or Seth, the brother of Osiris, came flying in, who said, Isis, listen, if we kill your husband, 
Osiris and father of the child. Then you can raise your son alone, the way you want him to become, and not after the image of God anymore, just as when you want to make an obedient dog out of a wolf. You need a puppy wolf to do so. Then Isis screamed, Are you crazy? Osiris is my beloved husband. Go away, you creep. And zoot, Seth flew away. Until some months later, when Isis and Osiris had a terrible quarrel. So she shouted, Seth, where are you? I don't want that man anymore. He said such bad things to me, and he's not obedient to me. Okay, I'll deal with it, said Seth, and he flew away. Then he killed his brother, Osiris, cut him up into thirteen pieces, which he threw into the river Nile. It is thus that Isis raised her son Horus all by herself and made an obedient little boy out of him, which is the Horus matrix and one of the reasons behind all those endless horizontal wars in order to breed a new human race of obedient men who never had their fathers to teach them about the real issues of life. So even here in the movie Alien Covenant, it shows the winged sun disc of Horus on the wrist watch telling time and whatnot. So this means they are like announcing here and transmitting the message that it is time, this is the time, it is time for another Horus matrix. Here's the Horus sun, uh, the winged sun disc. So time, Horus matrix. It's time for another horizontal war, uh, killing a lot of people. Just as the pink list killers publicly announce to kill the patriarchy. Therefore, all the top Nazis were all pink list killers during Second World War, and so are today's neo Nazi leaders, of which you can find all the proofs in this book here about the Second World War and the time before that all the top Nazi leaders, they were pink list killers. The proofs are there, and the facts are there, and um, all the information is there. So you don't have to come with your censorship and your hate speech and all that, because all the facts and all the names, all the proofs that the uh, today's uh, neo-Nazi leaders that they're all pink list killers are in this video here. And they're saying it, you know. I love smashing the patriarchy with you. They do an appeal for violence. So I hope I can say something about this, you know. So YouTube and all your censorship, you better do against the appeal, do something against this appeal for violence here. And leave my video alone because I... I make videos for peace and a better world. So this video, I made it four years ago. And it's uh, here is the title and it's on the same channel as here. And in this video, I show more about the pink list killers. This is Jutta Rüdiger. She was the head of the Bund Deutscher Mädels. That was the biggest Nazi organization. <coughs> biggest uh, Nazi youth organization. And the biggest youth organization in the world with 5 million uh, girlies. And she was a pink list killer. And all the top Nazis are pink list killers. 
and were pinkly skillet. So all the proofs are here. And here you can see that it's the same channel, Gure, uh, in 2022. So that's uh, um, a year ago or two years ago. All the facts are here. All the proofs are here. They want to, the pink list killers, they are in the Horus Matrix and they want to kill the patriarchy. The word patriarchy comes from the Latin pater. It means killing the fathers and raise the sons new from scratch and then put them in the Hitler Youth and completely indoctrinate them. That is the Horus Matrix and the pink list killers are entirely behind it. The proofs are there, the facts are there, the names are there, the dates are there. It's all there, you know. You can't just close your eyes and come with your censorship and, uh, you know, and hate speech and, and attack, the, um, at, at, attack the facts and the proofs. Don't do it, you know. This is what the badge and the alien movie transmits to all the initiated ones, showing that badge, saying the covenant with the Horus winged sun disk for the covenant of the Horus matrix, thus needing genocides and horizontal wars. As the genocide on that planet, and probably our planet, shown in the alien movie where the entire population got wiped out by some killer demons getting in through the body openings like the mouth and into the nose or into the ears and then physically manifest in the host's bodies and grow inside as you can see here in the movie, which is, in fact, exactly what they did with Pharaoh's poison injected into our bodies after that pharaonic flu of 2019. And the alien covenant video from 2017 tells that story, how they wipe out entire planets like this so here it says alien covenant 2017 when the film was released and here you see the alien you know being inhaled into the nose no not even inhaled it goes by himself you can see this in the movie you know here it is and this is what happened two years later or maybe even one year later in 2019 the pharaoh flew into the nose Look, the movie Alien Covenant, talking about a monster inside, got released in 2017, right before the real monster inside, two years later in 2019, with Pharaoh's Poison. So here it says, the, the movie 2017, which was a message for the insiders, it says alien covenant. It's an alien covenant. It says it here. You know, here you see the alien here with a uh, with a needle in 2019. It's the execution of the plan. So this is an actual uh, screenshot from the picture with this monster. You know, getting out of the stomach. The guy. You know, look at his hands. You know. So from the movie Alien Covenant from 2017. A monster growing inside, on this side and on this side. And this is what happened in 2019. See all the aliens here. And also a monster growing inside, doesn't it now? So the alien movie was a global message announcing the coming arrival of the beast inside, as some prefer to call the beast system. Therefore, the title of the movie. Alien Covenant, and a covenant is a promise or an agreement of something that was promised and agreed upon, probably a long time ago, like in ancient Egypt, with their gods 
their pharaohs and their demons. So here you see from the movie, the um, it says the covenant with the uh, the winged sun disc of Horus, which you see here is again it says covenant with the covenant with Egypt because this is the same thing. So it's an ancient covenant, which is now being realized now in the probably the end times, eh? As in real time in 2019. And in the alien movie time of 2017, it shows an invader parasite taking over its host. The beast taking over its host, as in the mark of the beast. The alien covenant beast and the beast of Pharaoh's poison of 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. In the Netflix series La Révolution, The Revolution, from 2020, so more than 200 years after the French Revolution of 1789, in episode number eight, it also shows the beast inside the nobility. With eight minutes from the end, a huge octagon, or in English, the octagon, where the aristocratic beast is standing. The film is a French production, and you don't randomly blend in a huge octagon in connection with the nobility like that, unless you are initiated and know what it means. And it certainly is not a mere coincidence that they show the octagon in episode number eight and eight minutes from the end. That is three times the eight in a row like 888, the number of the beast, who has a man in this video. So here it says La Révolution from October 2020 on Netflix. And here it says, Et si on nous avait menti? And what if they have lied to us? Who? Well, these ones here, the nobility. So here you see the big octagon, and this guy of the nobility, I think he was a duke or something, he really is the beast. And that's why the series is about, and I think it's very interesting. And it goes deeper still, and beyond our imagination. Anyone sees it? Inside the star-formed octagon is another eight-sided octagon and in that octagon is a circle also called the inner circle the compass or concept of three which is them our masters who get protected by the templar octagon like police secret service presidential guard and military all around the inner circle of pure pharaoh nobility. The whole thing is in an oval, like the Oval Office in America, for example, that has to be protected from the people, from the slaves, who are represented by the concept of four, of all the black squares surrounding the oval and surrounding the inner circle. The floor is from a genuine French castle, as you can see all the cracks in it. The masters of Pharaoh's nobility always leave their secret messages everywhere, both in buildings and in movies. So this one you see, the star octagon, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars. And remember this black and white, I did a video about that once. And here 
you see another octagon, or they call it also a uh, octogram here. And here is the inner circle. I mean, why did they make it? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of hassle, you know, to, to put this little circle in it. You know, it has a meaning, therefore. And this is the inner circle, which is protected here by the octagon. There are several octagons. And this is the second octagon layer, you know, like pointing outwards for, you know, for the rough protection. And here once more, the inner protection. And here, all around it, are the black squares, the concept of four, which is us, the people, which I explain in other videos, the concept of three and four. So it does say, here's the concept, uh, this is the square, it says the square and compass. With a compass, you can draw a circle. And it also says the number seven, three and four together, which makes a G, and therefore the G is always, you know, uh, in the middle between the square and compass. And um, here are some more octagons. So that means within the people, uh, the black squares, and outside of the oval, the oval office, which comes out of the Vesi Capiscas, you know, the circles like the Audi car, and in the middle. So that means we are a chain, one for all and all for one. It's a chain, you know. You, you, you I mean, they're a chain. They're all connected, like they're all protecting each other like making a chain you see so amongst the people it's all infiltrated you know by the octagon everything is infiltrated you know all organizations you know by the people you know like the germans had the national socialists in the beginning they got all infiltrated and then uh, turned against the people and it became the ss in black and in russia they had the um, international socialism the bolsheviki you know it also got infiltrated by the communists and stalin and in 1934 they killed them all the same in germany in the night of the long knives it happened simultaneously in germany and in russia killing the people they were all you know workers movements so everything is infiltrated amongst the people which is the square which is the the down at the pyramid where the grass is and the circle is the concept of three which is the side of the pyramid and the the hierarchy and uh which is them our masters so amongst the people you know the traitors are everywhere and they're even bigger than the people as you can see here the octagon so in this guy he's a bit bigger than this one you see in spite of the fact he's on his knees you know he's got the blue sash for the wall against the people like and he's much bigger look at his head you know and he's the beast he even has an octagon here on his chest where the heart is of course and a templars we it seems like in his jacket there's probably more to see you know and he's a lot bigger this is the beast within the the nobility so for me this is very interesting you know that there are people who made this movie who know this and Within the nobility, they talk about the beast. So they're talking about the internal war within the nobility. And of course, this war is the war between the Republicans and the Royalists. So this king, he was a real king before, or a duke or whatever, the, uh, the lord of the castle. And then he became the beast. So there must be a reference to the Republicans and the Knights Templars. That's why the octagon. Is here, which is a reference to the Knights Templars. As everywhere where you find a ruins or you know an archaeologist, and if it's octagonal, you know that the Knights Templars did it. Yeah. So this is all a reference to the Knights Templars and about the internal wall. So these guys who made this video here, they must be royalists. Yeah. And this is the beast. As the French king Philip the Fair, he said, well, the Knights Templars, they are Satanists and sodomites we better get rid of them you know they're very evil you know and he did not lie and especially his um prosecutor guillaume de nogari the most powerful man in the french empire very highly intelligent man and um so that's why what, what it's about it's all you know if you're not initiated you know well you will never understand all these things yeah um 
Well, you know my story. Once in Swaziland, I found this plastic cake form from a supermarket, Swiss cake where it showed the exact same pharaonic octagon protecting the inner circle from the square, which they call the triple layer of power. When I saw it, I almost choked myself to death with a chunk of the power cake getting stuck in my larynx. So here you can see it. He got the inner circle here and which is protected with the octagon here here's another circle here's the octagon like the police and the army the secret service and here around it is the square and the concept of square the base of the pyramid where the slaves are the people you know and this is the concept of three i explained it in other videos i'm not going to do it again and that stands for the um, the compass. With a compass, you can make a circle, and the compass is the concept of three, which is the side of a pyramid. So exactly the same thing. And the and the cook the uh, the cake, the Swiss cake, was on this here. I was so sh shocked, I nearly choked on a piece piece of Swiss cake. The uh, the Swissies almost had me there, eh? choking on their Swiss cake. Yeah. So. I made this video, it happened 11 years ago, so it's probably 12 years. And it's in my channel, Gatse Frats. Here's the title, so you just punch in this here. I also had it in uh, in English. I've, they probably took it off. I, I don't know where it is. I made more than 1,000 videos. And hundreds of my videos, entire channels has been taken off by the... Uh, by the dictatorship where we are living in. So that was January the 8th, 2013. So that's, uh, yeah, 11 years, 11 years ago. So maybe it's still there somewhere, or maybe someone saved it. And again, this channel, they're going to take it off very soon. Might be in a couple of days, Hats of Hats. It's coming soon. So you better download the videos. I don't have it anymore. And... Um, I can promise you, if they take away the channel and nobody puts the, the videos back, I'm going to stop. I'll, I'll entirely stop this because there isn't enough support you know, from you people. I'm doing it for you and there's not enough support. You know. So download it and upload it again, all this. Otherwise, this here is going to disappear. Yeah, look, I found the English version for you which I apparently made nine years ago in 2015, right before the Swiss Nazi police arrested me again on July the 16th, 2015, with a huge army of blue uniforms right in front of my three-year-old daughter, Alvina, who cried her heart out, and my 12-year-old son, Rivan, who remained traumatized for many years. Well, okay, instead of the Swiss Nazi police, the Swiss octagon cake nearly choked me to death. Can you imagine the utter shame of being choked to death by a chunk of Swiss cake? Well, I picture the YouTube titles, Homie Ross slain by a Swiss cake, or Sean Quixote, Missed by an inch by a windmill, but the octagon cake finally did the job. What a bloody nightmare that whole country is altogether. Their damn cakes included. Shitty land for Swizzyland. So here's the video, and here's the here's the title. So you just punch in the title on the channel Gatse Frats. And this is when I uploaded it in 2015, right before I got arrested again. Maybe they arrested me because of this. Maybe this was the uh, the final drop, you know, in the bucket. Like, uh, uh, yeah, so I I got another white one, another white cake, you know, like Freemason Lodge, you know. Here on the 2017 badge. And right before the 2019 
Pharaoh poison attack on my mankind. It says building better worlds. So here it says building better worlds. The Alien 2017 movie. And here the covenant with the the winged sun disk of Horus. So that's the covenant, which is the Horus matrix. It is thus how the evil ones want to create better worlds, as it shows on another one of those army badges in the film Alien Covenant, with those winged creatures forming the winged sun disk of Horus, with a wing on each side and the sun disk in the middle and King Solomon's pillars, Yachin and Boaz, on each side, saying the word covenant in between the two Freemason pillars. Some might see angels or Lucifer in the two winged and faceless creatures. But let me tell you that all religions come out of Pharaoh's empire where there's basically just one winged god, which is Horus. And if you want to call Horus Lucifer, well, that's fine with me, because that's what it practically is. Your biblical light bearer is the sun and its sun disk shining the light. So here you see the, um, the badge that they're walking around with. And um, here's the winged sun disk. Here it says USCSS. Some probably for a spaceship as well, you know. But it, it means, of course, also something else, you know. And here there's Wayland Yutani. I mean, Wayland, you know, it's, it's, it's far away, a land far away, maybe, written with an E instead of an A. Yutani, I've, I've got no idea what that is. But it does have a meaning, meaning, uh, everything has a meaning. So here you see the two pillars, Yachin and Boaz. And there are four stars for the concept of four. You know, that's us, the, the slaves, the people at the base of the pyramid, you know, the who, whom they're going to uh, genocide, you know. So there must also be the concept of three, which is, of course, uh, the, this planet here. So like here, you see a wing and here's the sun disk, you know, the light as in the light bearer. And here the other wing. So here you see one wing. Here's the sun, the sun disk in the middle. And here the other wing. So this here is saying the same as here, only with these sort of creatures. And they are faceless you know and there are two of them so and if you so here it says building better worlds and they're walking around in the in the video you know straight in our faces yeah why they why do they want to build better worlds i mean what does it mean it's it, it's it's about this creature this alien you know it's not about building better worlds it's um well it is but I mean, the movie for us slaves, it isn't really. Uh, it's a thriller, you know, it's the uh, a, a creepy alien movie. But for them, th this is the message, internal message to them. And now if we count here, all these uh, strokes here, you know, it must be an octagon, right? So there's the little ones. And they're the big ones. And if I count them all, you know, because it's a bit complicated, like here, you know, I can't really see it now. So I start top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Well, you know, isn't that two times eight? Okay, so if all the little ones are eight, you know. One, it's yeah, and all the big ones here, the longer ones, are also eight. So it says two times octagon. Right? You think that's a coincidence? No, it isn't. 
an octagon is the uh, the army guys walking around with these badges that's octagon and you see that they're, they're around the inner circle as i told you before and so many times and it's everywhere and where's the square well that's the concept of four here they are one two three four which is always the outer circle uh so the uh the inner circle has to be protected by the octagon around the inner circle from the square or the concept of four one two three four you know the slaves the people it's everywhere people it's everywhere they just rub it straight in our faces and all these movies just like on the buildings you know it's another way of doing it in stone on a building you know they do it on um, in a movie and you think it's a good movie nice colors and nice actors and well they use a lot of demons for that you know you know so you so the actors look nice and the picture look nice and but they're um, transmitting messages to each other and uh, ah look the yachin and boas are three one two three lines in it for the concept of three because that was king solomon wasn't it hey, a king a pharaoh his daughter was married with the uh w with pharaoh and um the daughter of king solomon so here's the concept of three three lines and there are four stars so it says square and compass you know and uh, they are of course the pillars yachin and boas and the whole thing is in blue this is in blue for the war color of pharaoh this here is in blue and what's the other color well it's white for the new world's order you know, here's white here's a lot of white and here's white and here's white and uh, yeah so i had to put this in red for you i get it look here they are walking around in the video in the movie alien covenant 2017. it even says it it's an alien covenant eh? and you see them walking around with these badges and you wouldn't even notice you know because there's so many th other things going on like horrible creatures popping out of your stomach and uh all these nice actors and the all the other things you know it's subliminal it really is subliminal you know and look they're filming you you know you're being videotaped just like if you go to a train station in a supermarket in a bus or whatever everywhere they're filming us you know so here you got the other badge here here's this uh the horrors uh winged uh, sun disc of the nazis and uh, you got this weird electronic stuff on his uh cap and here you see it it says again the covenant with those two two times horus two times um, lucifer for one of them for some of you here it says building better worlds you can't even read it you know uh, without homie ross you would never have known and it, there is an octagon like i told you all the police badges army badges like in 3d in our world which isn't our world they're all octagonal you know i've i've shown you this so many times maybe they've been taking off taken off these videos i don't know and there are more important things to see but i'll keep that for another time okay? and another screenshot from the movie i don't know what kind of a gun this is they probably have these things oh, it's sure they do have these sort of guns you know he got the electronic device in his uh, in his cap. They all they also have this, you know. So in these two badges, you know, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are at least eight subliminal messages in it. Again, eight which you don't see if you know it's going fast in the movie and you don't pay attention it's subliminal 
It's telling a story and see the action. And that's what you're looking at, at the action. But you're not looking at the subliminal action, which is the real action here. You know, like the information is the only weapon we have talking about action. So this is number one, the, uh, the winged uh, sun disc of Horus. And it says uh, also covenant, but not in this picture here. So there are two things, the, uh, the covenant and the winged sun disc of Horus. Then you got here the two times the um, these uh, angels with the uh, the whole thing is a winged sun disc. Here's the wing. Here's the sun disc. So that's uh, three things. Here it says covenant. Four things. The two pillars, Yashin and Boaz. Five things. Four stars. Six things. There are eight arrows around it. That's seven things. It's the concept of four that are already eight things it says building better worlds that's nine things well etc 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 they don't have any faces uh, 10 things it's all subliminal and then it says wayland yutani whatever that is it's some sort of a company the, um, the company probably exists i i looked it up i couldn't find it but it's um probably a hidden company a company right eh? And the color blue, of course, the colors blue and white, white for the new world's order, horizontal rule, and blue for the war. And I put the red in it for the old world's order, for the royalists uh, amongst us. And for building better worlds, it needs the to destroy the old one, like Horus the light bearer with his shining sun disk, who wants to destroy the creation in order to build a better one, or at least that's what he thinks. And both the Alien movie from 2017 and Pharaoh's Poison right after from 2019 were the Swissies behind it. The man behind the alien creature is the Swiss Hans Rua de Giger, Geiger in English, having these morbid fantasies of bringing this beast inside, taking control of its host, and then calling it art. So here it says Swissy Geiger in Swiss German Giger, probably coming from Geiger. It means a violin or a constructor of violins, probably in his ancestry. And then the E had been taken off somehow, maybe to make it better, make it look better in English. So here he's in a sarcophagus putting his hands like a pharaoh. The guy's highly initiated. And here, you see all, the, it says transhumanism made in Swaziland. You see all the transhumanism here with machines and things getting inside of your body, taking over the host. And here, you see there are three heads are completely visible, the concept of three. And there is still one here, the fourth. So in a way, the three are accentuated. They always do this. Concept of three for the compass, and altogether there are four for the square. So it says square and compass. And um, so his name is Hans Ruedi, just like the corrupt Swiss Nazi cop. Um, his name was also Hans Ruedi, who... Um, who threatened me and just lied things together, you know, to put Homie Ross away. So here it says HR for Hans Ruedi, Giger. And so in high German, it's Geiger, or Geiger is a violin, and Geiger is someone who plays the violin. But in Swiss German, a violin is uh, a Giger. And here it says Giga, somebody who plays the violin. And here it says the initiate. And here the eye of Horus. 
So remember, Horus, he had, uh, in the battle with uh, Set, he lost one eye. Uh, probably the one the Arabs call him the uh, Dajjal, or the Muslims call him the Dajjal. So he is doing the joining here, like Trump, like Merkel, like um, Erdogan, like Putin, Macron. They're all doing this, all these pharaonic politicians. And he's seen with this creature here, two creatures. And here he's doing the all-seeing eye of uh, uh, Horus. So the all-seeing eye on the dollar is uh, it's a reference to Horus, which is the covenant, really. So the guy is highly initiated. I mean, that's why they gave him a lot of money for his so-called art. And even Hollywood, they made a, a whole series of videos uh, around this guy. So this is the alien guy, you know, really. And here on the mask, you see a lot of squares and a lot of circles, you know, definitely say square and compass all over. So, and here you can see four fingers for the concept of four and all these things, you know, and um, highly initiated, highly, highly initiated. And I mean, just look in his eyes, you know, there's something is, is off, you know, something odd. It's, it looks very cold and like staring like into your inner being. I don't know. It's, um, it's, I can't say more. Everything is forbidden, you know, to express your, your thoughts about things. And it's also interesting, you know, there's this arrow going up, which is in fact, uh, I think it's, it's a runic sign. Um, of this arrow going up, and I think it has to do something with death. Okay, so the guy's a real heavyweight in black magic and all this, you know, what we can see here. So this rune, as you can see here as well, is the Tivas rune, or Taiwat. It's the god Tyr. And it's the god of war. And you can use this amulet for a magic spell for victory. So in this case, the alien case of this being inside of humanity, in conjunction with the Klaus Schwab um, pharaoh's poison, they're all Swiss, um, we can assume it's a victory over humanity with all these evil beings. and. You see, these, they are round, you know, these glasses, and there are four of them. One glass is the compass, it's the concept of three, and four of them is the concept of four, so it says square. So it says here, square and compass, and he's doing the joining here. But he's knowing exactly what he's doing. And then the rune, the, 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 uh, the Tibat's rune of the god Tyr, and uh, it's a god of war, which is a magic spell for victory. It's an incantation if you want to achieve victory, like victory over mankind. So, and again, it's Switzerland, as it always is. It's sort of an Aleister Crowley type of guy, you know. And what happened to Aleister Crowley? He met a Swiss girlfriend in, um, in the canton of Bern. Her name was Lea Hersig. They even had a child together, which they sacrificed in Sicily in the Thelema temple next to a, um, a Templar's commandery of the, um, of the Teutonic Knights, who are branched, who are the German-speaking branch of the Knights Templars, as they were forbidden in France. And so they started to speak German in, um, in Switzerland, where the, uh, the Covenant, right? So, and Alistair Crowley, he was a normal type of guy, an adventurer, a mountaineer, mountain climbing. So, yeah, obviously you want to go to Switzerland if, you're, if you do mountain climbing. And then uh, everything went real, became real evil, meeting this Swiss Lea Hersig and, uh, and whatnot. You know, he got uh, initiated in Switzerland. You know. We might say the poor uh, Alistair Crowley. 
I'm probably the only person that says so, you know, the poor guy. Uh, and with the poor guy, of course, I meant, of course, Alistair Crowley and not this, this one here, eh? not this H.R. Geiger Swissy now. And I meant with uh, the poor guy that uh, Alistair Crowley that he ended up in Swaziland where he got the evil inside, you know. So that's the poor f thing going on. Um, making him a poor guy that, um, you know, wrong place, wrong time sort of thing, you know. You know what I mean, eh? And of course, you know, doing the all seeing eye is the covenant with Horus. You know, Horus with one eye. So the whole video, the alien video and its maker, you know, the inventor, it's it's a covenant with Horus. It's a magic spell, just like that uh, Tiva's rune. And there's a real heavy dude here, a heavyweight in, in black magic. You know. So doing the all-seeing eye, it's the eye of Horus, and here is the Horus winged sun disc, which is all over the video, and it's from here, it's from Egypt. So, yeah, I told you, Swaziland is the base of Pharaoh, and um, the guy is heavily initiated. Also, was I from the from the house of uh, Saint Croix Rose du Plessis? And, um, but initiated not in this black magic, but in the others, in the other world, like, so to speak. Otherwise, I could never have known all this. And, uh, well, I already told you in one video that in uh, the lineage of my, uh, of the house of Saint Croix Rose du Plessis in South Africa for 350 years, it was a tradition in the family that uh, uh, we got initiated, you know, from the age of um, of twelve uh, onwards about the evil ones, you know, so that one day we might come back to the origins in France and uh, I'll do something about these guys here, which I'm doing. So download my videos because they will disappear one day and so will I. I will disappear one day or they make me disappear, these ones here. And um, so it's up to you, it's, you know, to, um, to save the videos and download them and, 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 and print out the, the text, you know, and everything. You know, it's it's your part of humanity to do this. I did this part and you do the other part. I can't do it all, you know. And if you don't do it, you know, the consequences will be obvious. So the Tiba's rune of the god Tyr and the magic spell for victory, the god of war, it stands on these creatures. You know, it's not on the wall behind them. So it means the victory over these creatures which they lead into our organisms of the humans who will be victorious over humanity. This is what it means. You know, this, this one here, the Tiva's rune for victory of the god of war, Tyr. And uh, we can see it in the video, you know, they're taking over the host. This is what they want to do. These creatures with all their symbols and their signs, look at their signs. And um, it's, they want a victory of these creepy organisms in humanity. And maybe this is the outcome because it, it looks a bit human. So this is probably the reset, you know, what they want to do, what, what they want to make out of humanity with no more eyes, like, you know. No more soul. The, 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 the eyes are the windows of the soul, as they say. Well, there are no more eyes. There's only windows, like four round windows saying square and compass. You know? And um, this is the Horus Matrix, the recreation of mankind. Uh, it, this is, this is um, Horus. This is what it's about. And it stands here on these creatures, this victory.
over humanity. That's what they want. And uh, destroy the creation. And then the execution of Giga's idea by the Swissy Klaus Schwab in Davos and their WEF, World Economic Forum. And the Swiss pharmaceutical companies, Roche and Novartis, about which I already made some videos, and the World Health Organization of the United Nations in Geneva, Switzerland, forcing the people of the world to wear a mask and take Pharaoh's poison. So both the idea of bringing the beast inside and its final execution of the idea are both Swiss, Giga and Swap. You know, it's worse than Smith and Wesson, Giga and Swap. It's more deadly than Smith and Wesson, more deadly than Heckler and Koch or whatever. Here it says the Swissies. Here you got Giga, here you got Swap. And the title of the movie Alien Covenant. And it's probably the name of the entire idea. I mean, I mean, look at it. I mean, this is this is Star Trek. You know, it's right out of a science fiction movie with aliens, and he's showing the covenant here, and it's all over. The Swissies and their alien covenant. There you go. So, from the video, the movie Alien Covenant, another badge, building better worlds, and here it says. Wayland Megacorp, mega corporation, a big corporation. Now, what is this Wayland? You know, I I did it here. Swissy Giga, he's standing like he's holding the beast, like he's yeah, like he's being pregnant and holding his stomach, like you know. And it is sort of being pregnant with the beast, or uh, you know, being pregnant with this idea of his, you know, with all the sarcophages here behind it, and they're all popping out here, uh, a whole nest of, of them, you know, of the monsters. So the Wayland, you know, here, W, and here, Ayland. If I put here the S, and here, ISS, -S, I get Swissayland. Well, I know it's a bit far-fetched, but that's what they do, these creeps. They do very far-fetched things, you know. And it does fit in a way, doesn't it? Swiss A land. And here it's a sort of ISIS here, ISS, which is also sort of another space, the European space uh, thing, isn't it? Isn't it called ISS? I, I think it is. And you see this, um, you know, Horus in the Horus Matrix. And he's got two horns as well here. And with all this in his stomach, you know, it's all transhumanism. There's nothing human here. I can't, I can't even see what it is, you know? And so Wayland, I, I suppose it means Swaziland, Swaziland, you know? Um, so until we come up with something better, then let's keep it this way, you know? Because it all fits, even if it might look far-fetched. But, you know, when I showed you and I told you that the alien, you know, comes from Swaziland, you probably, in the beginning of this video, you probably must have thought, oh, okay, homie Ross is exaggerating now, you know. But then I gave you the proofs, you know, that this guy is the guy that was pregnant with the uh, the alien video, you know, like here. Or pregnant in his head, you know. And then he puked it out on the world, so to speak. And then from the movie Alien Covenant, at a very, just... A, a fraction of a second, it showed this here, Dr. E. Shaw. E. Shaw. I mean, who's that? You know? And these are the wings of Horus, of the, of the winged sun disk, just as this here. You know, this is Horus himself, and here's the sun. You know? And uh, there's the concept of three in it, one, two, three, and here as well. And these are the inverse pyramids of death as the poor souls in the concentration camps had on their chests. 
Uh, it also showed the W, like here, the W for Wayland Corp. And here I wrote it down in another way, you know, saying Swaziland or W A land, Wayland, uh, which is supposedly the uh, the Wayland Megacorp. So Swaziland is the Megacorp. It's a mega corporation. You know, they are ruling the world. It's fair. Or, all the all the NGOs are there. It's a mega corp, yeah. All the all the money, all the banks are there. It's a mega corporation, yeah. Even ruling over America, they got all key positions, like in Swiss Consen, uh, everywhere. You know, the uh, all these American pros presidents, like like uh, Herbert Ho Hoover, a real Hoover, and and the director of the um, of the FBI. FBI. Could be his brother, you know, also a Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover. They look exactly the same. Swaziland or Wayland is the mega corp, really. You know, where Klaus Schwab is from, you know, where, where the biggest pharmaceutical companies, uh, Roche and Novartis. Uh, and then this guy, uh, Giga, you know, and, and uh, who, who was pregnant with the alien idea, you know, uh, literally, I'd say, yeah. And also uh, Alistair Crowley meeting that Swissy girl like uh, Leia Hirsig. It all boils down to Switzerland. And here it says, so it really, it isn't far-fetched that Wayland is probably Switzerland because Switzerland is the mega corp out of which the whole world is being ruled. Everything is there. The Red Cross, the United Nations, everything. And, 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 and there never is any war, nothing, no terrorist attacks. They even finance the Hamas and everything. They're behind everything, you know. It's it's the Wayland Megacorp, the Switzerland Megacorp of Horus and the Sisters of Isis, Les Sœurs d'Isis, Suis, Sœurs Isis. Uh, I've told you all this, right? And here it is, the Wayland Megacorp. So this image here, which I've shown you in the beginning of the video, it is real. Switzerland and here the alien, alien covenant. I've proven it to you. Klaus Schwab, uh, Giga, etc., etc. This is real information. It's solid. And this image is also real. Alien here with these creatures here. And here, Switzerland with a lot of blood and, you know, it's real people. All the proofs are in this video, all the facts are in this video, all the pictures and the images are in this video, the whole history is in this video and my other videos. Um, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. And also this image here is real, it's a reality. Switzerland is the beast with the seven heads and this is probably what their heads look like. They also have the seven hills, you know, in the uh, Die Sieben Kurfürsten. Watch my video, uh, horror, Helvetic Horror Heidi, maybe on my other channel. I, I get, I've, be, I've been giving you all the proofs, people. And they've got seven heads of state, you know, who divide ten ministries amongst each other. The beast with the seven heads and the ten horns. And they got the seven hills. It's all there. You can't miss the signs and the symbols. It's all vis vis visual now. It's visible. Even this thing here, left bottom in the image, which word I may not pronounce because of the censorship and the total dictatorship, looks like the Horus Sun Disk. So here's the word I'm not allowed to pronounce, otherwise they will take my video off. So this here, Pharaoh's uh, flu, and here is the sun. You see the name is the same here, this name and this name. And this is the Sun Disk, the winged Sun Disk of Horus which you see in that video, Alien Covenant. And the Alien Covenant, you know, it, it shows the sun disk here all over in their badges, on their badges. 
showing saying the covenant but it talks about the beast coming inside and which happened right afterwards so there is a connection between this tiny little thing here and this huge thing here which all comes together here in this symbol so it's all the same you know so this one that's why they show the uh, the winged sun disc of Horus, you know, because this here, this tiny thing here, what goes inside of the organism, looks exactly like this one here. Even and even the name is the same. You see what I mean? And this is not a coincidence, no. So all these three things here, what you see in this image, here's one screenshot, another one, another one, and another one. They're all interconnected, both in the virtual world, in the video, as in 3D, in the real world. So this is this tiny pharaonic flu. Here is the sun with the same name, these and these. I cannot, I cannot pronounce it. And this is the covenant, which is uh, Horus, the bed and the badge. And then there is this video the alien covenant so here are the badges the little one the big one and here is the video it's all interconnected <laughs> it's not a coincidence and it's all connected to ancient egypt and the uh, the winged sun disk of uh, horus which is the um, the common denominator so the video is connected to egypt of course, the sun, it's a sun disk, is connected to Egypt. And then the monster inside, both in 3D, the real world, and in the video, uh, is connected to ancient Egypt. And also, all of this is, of course, uh, connected. And this is where it all came from, you know. And uh, th their base here, from these ones here from Egypt, it's they, it's this is their base. And you know, somebody made this artwork like on a wall somewhere. Do you think it's really think it's the people doing this? As you know now, this is all connected with the um, the winged sun disk of Horus because that's what it's showing, Horus. And the circle here, it is the sun disk. That's what the uh, the sort of the holy symbol here. It's the sun, Horus. You know, so you see here the mask and, you know, like a little heart here. And so you think somebody just spontaneously, you know, by miracle made exactly this symbol here with these colors of the pink list killers as well. Or do you think it's one of their artists, like uh, like the Giga guy, you know, who was assigned, you know, and he got paid for it to put this on a wall somewhere, you know, just as all the other secret symbols, they are like uh, transmitting informations like on walls, in videos, uh, in stone and everywhere. Eh? What do you think it will be the answer, the first one or the second one? I tell you what it is. It's not a coincidence. It's one of their one of their artists working for them and belongs to these pharaohs who made this because it's not a coincidence. You know, he made the sun disk here over his head, connected to Pharaoh's uh disease, you know, and also connected with the uh, with Horus with the wings. Well, this is not a coincidence, eh? Hey? And then all of it is a covenant and a conspiracy out of the base of Pharaoh, the beast, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. It's all here it says the covenant. And this is the covenant where the Knights Templars they founded their base. And uh, I just proven it to you how the idea of the um, of the beast inside in the alien movie it came out out of this base here by Giga, 
and then the execution by Klaus Schwab of this here, it also came out of the base of Pharaoh and is all connected to the winged sun disk of Horus, which is the covenant. The covenant is the Horus matrix. And this is why that base here is never in any war, not the first war, not the second world war. Never are there any terrorist attacks, not the 30 year war, which was the worst of it all. And then it's all connected. They got their World Health Organization, you know, like sort of what you see here with the Saint symbol over it. You know, they got it in Geneva. The, you know, everything is there in that country. It's really is the base of it all. The base with the seven heads and the seven hills and, um, and the beast. Here you see the beast. You know, it's divided like what you see in the nice flag and everywhere, you know. But underneath is the beast. You know, if you if you pull this off, you see the beast. That's why Voltaire, you know, the French philosopher, he said in Switzerland, half of the population, they live in paradise. This half here, you know, and the other half, they live in hell. Now you see it here, 50-50. And then after that, Pharaoh's poison afterwards that will eat you up from the inside out, just like Giga's alien monster does. And then calling it the Great Reset. Re and Set. Assembled together from the Pharaonic gods Re and Set. The gods of day and night. Re or Ra, the sun god, and Set, the lord of darkness. Re, Set, Reset. Switzerland, the base of Pharaoh, having their fingers on it all over. And you all remember the Swiss alien money I already showed you 10 years ago in 2013 where Swissy shows their reptilian money. So here you see it's green reptilian, it's 50 Swiss francs. And here you see the eyes, here you see the head, here another eye, here the, the nose and sort of a moustache. So it's here on this channel here. You see it's 10 years ago on Gatsefrats. And here's the title. So you type in the title if you want to see that. And um, and also their octagon money and other weird alien creatures, which you can see here. About Swissy knows a lot more than they reveal. So here to be seen at my channel. Gatsefrats. So here you see the long legged creatures. I think this is 100 Swiss francs, or the now they've got another one. This is um, here there are eight pillars one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octagon with a circle for the concept of, uh, of three. And I think there are like uh, four feet under it for the concept of four. So, and this is the same uh, video title 10 years ago on my channel, Gatsefrats. I also filmed Swissy's new banknotes full of subliminal messages three years ago in 2021 here on my channel, Gure. Swissy even shows on their 10 franc bill from 1981 the Nibiru celestial constellation long before Nibiru even got discovered. So here you can see it. The Swissy already had it on their 10 franc bill and then the Nibiru, it got discovered uh, a couple of years later. Yeah. And here is the um, the Giga alien guy again, 
with the runic symbols for victory. So the aliens are going to be victorious over humanity. This is alien here, and this is alien. It's all over. The whole, it's, it's the Swiss beast, the home of the devil. You know, got no other words. And just look at Swissy's 500 francs bill with a head out of proportion and far too big to be human. You all remember my video about Swissy's brachycephalic heads concentrated in Switzerland, whereas the rest of the Europeans have dolicocephalic skulls. Here's the alien. And look at this this head. It's it's way too big. It's it's not in proportion to the rest of the body. So everything is alien in this in this incredibly creepy country. And I live there, you know, and they terrorize me. They're, it, it's not human there, you know. The things they do is not human. It's on their bills. It's it's on everything they do. It's not human at all. It's all alien. All their money bills it's alien they they make this sort of creatures by giga and then there is the uh, pharaoh's poison and the, the the world health organization and klaus schwab it's it's all alien stuff you know that they they want to destroy humanity you know it's all concentrated in, in the in the alps where the seven hills are the end times hills in my video, the Helvetic Horror Heidi. So here it is um, about this is brachycephalic. So it's really a scientific video I made here with proofs. And this is dolicocephalic. This is the skull form of most Europeans. And this is the skull form as it is concentrated in, um, in Switzerland. Uh, so they are like a completely different species, species, and they behave like a different species. So I made this eight years ago, probably nine years ago. And on my channel, Gatsefrats, here is the uh, title. So it was in 2015. Oh, oh, right. And I got arrested again uh, on July 16th, 2015, a week later. So this video probably really triggered uh, the arrest when my daughter was only three years old, crying her heart out. Uh, my younger son, 12 years old, he was traumatized for years after, and he still is, you know. I really terrorized my children and everything. So this, I uploaded this July 5th, 2015, and on July 16th, i never forget it, they arrested me again. There were police all over. So right after I made this video, so this is an important video for them. They really don't like this. Uh, they recognize the proofs, the scientific proofs that I put out in this video. You know, it's only 15 minutes. And this probably triggered the arrest. And they put me in prison again for another three and a half months, and I lost 30 kilos, more than 30 kilos in three and a half months. And they tortured me then again with uh, oxygen deprivation, the code O2T. So please download this and, um, and save it, you know, because this channel, they're going to take it off. It's not going to take long anymore. They're going to take it off, I told you. And and if you people, if you don't um, cooperate with all this, and um, then um, you know I can't do it all alone. You know, then this information I spend so much time doing this, giving it all to you, as my present to humanity, it will be lost, and then we have nothing. So it's up to you. But yeah, okay, I know, you know, you are consumers, you know, most of you, you're just consumers and um, um, you can't really organize, you know, well, that's humanity. I did what I could, but if you're not going to do anything with it, then it's going to be lost and humanity will be lost anyway. There's something 
awfully wrong with that country. Even their Templar money is full of aliens and reptilians. This is not a joke, people. This is very serious. And I give you all the proofs bringing the invisible to the surface and make it visible for you by taking off the magic veil over the most creepy place on earth. Out of where these creatures rule over their human livestock and the entire earth. I know a people who made this covenant with evil for their own personal interests and advantages, thus betraying the rest of Europe and the entire humanity. And I know where this country lies, where the evil pharaohs have their base, where they made the covenant with the Suis Sir Dizis sisters of Isis, and out of where they rule the entire world, totally enslaving humanity. And through endless horizontal wars, killing the fathers, the so called patriarchy for the devastating Horus Matrix. I know where that country is, with their seven heads of state and seven end time hills, where all nations traded with her Templar banks. So I'm going to read you here the original pharaonic text about Horus. And it starts with chapter 12 here. In the 360th year of Ra Heru Kuti, who liveth forever and forever, his majesty was in Takens, and his soldiers were with him. So you, you can read with me here. Eh? The enemy did not conspire our against their lord, and the land is called Uatet unto this day. And Ra set out on an expedition in his boat, and his followers were with him, and he arrived at Utes Heru, which lay to the west of this gnome, and to the east of the canal Pakenu, which is called to this day. And Heru Behutet was in the boat of Ra. And he said unto his father, Raheru Kuti, I see that the enemies are conspiring against their lord. Let the fairy serpent gain the mastery over them. Then the majesty of Raharmakis said unto thy divine Ka, uh, the soul when you live, O Heru Behutet, O son of Ra, thou exalted one, who didst proceed from me, overthrow thou the enemies who are before thee straightway. And Hero Behutet flew up into the horizon in the form of a great winged disc. There we go, the winged disc, right? For which reason he is called Great Lord, Great God, Lord of Heaven unto this day. And when he saw the enemies in the heights of heaven, he set out to follow after them in the form of the great winged disc, and he attacked with such terrific force those who opposed him, that they could neither see with their eyes nor hear with their ears, and each of them slew his fellow. In a moment of time there was not a single creature left alive. Then Hero Behutet, shining with very many colors, came in the form of the great winged disc to the boat of Rahar Makis, and Tot said unto Pa, O Lord of the gods, Behuted hath returned in the form of the great winged disc shining with many colors, children. So here there's some things, you know, that couldn't be translated or couldn't be read. Yeah. So. I continue reading, you can read with me, or you can just lay, lay back and listen. 
For this reason he is called Heru Behutet unto this day. And Tot said, The city Teb shall be called the city of Heru Behutet, and thus is it called unto this day. And Ra embraced thee of Ra, and said unto Heru Behutet, Thou didst put grapes into the water, which cometh forth from it, and thy heart rejoiced thereat. And for this reason the water or canal of Heru Behutet is called grape water. Unto this day, and uh, unto this day, and Hero Behutet said, Advance, O Ra, and look thou upon thine enemies who are lying under thee on this land. Thereupon the majesty of Ra set out on the way, and the goddess Estertet was with him, and he saw the enemies overthrown on the ground, each one of them being fettered. Then said Ra to Hero Behutet, there is sweet life in this place, and for the reason the abode of the palace of Hero Behutet is called Sweet Life unto this day. And Ra said unto Tot, Here was the slaughter of mine enemies, and the place is called Teb unto this day. And Tot said unto Hero Behutet, Thy art a great protector, Makar. And the boat of Hero Behutet is called Maka unto this day. Then said Ra unto the gods who were in his following, Behold now, let us sail in our boats upon the water, for our hearts are glad because our enemies have been overthrown on the earth, and the water where the great god sailed is called Pukan Ur unto this day. And behold, the enemies of Ra rushed into the water, and they took the forms of crocodiles and hippopotami. But nevertheless, Rahiro Kuti sailed over the waters in his boat. And when the crocodiles and the hippopotami had come nigh unto him, they opened wide their jaws in order to destroy Rahiro Kuti. And when Hero Behutid arrived and his followers who were behind him in the forms of workers in metal, each having in his hands an iron spear and a chain. According to his name, they smote the crocodiles in the hippopotami, and there were brought in their straight away 651 crocodiles, which had been slain before the city of Etfu. Then spake Rahar Makis unto Hero Behutet, My name shall be here in the land of the south. You see, the land of the south, that is the, the Perhet, the, uh, uh, which is Upper Egypt in the south, which means the White House, which is a house of victory or strength. And the house of Heru Behutet is called Necked Head unto this day. So here to the red, it says, Pharaoh was identified with Horus since the beginning of history. And Hero Kuti, Armakes Horakti, Horus of the horizon, the morning sun. Ra Hero Kuti, Re Horakti, the combination of Re and Horakti, which was the main god of Heliopolis in historic times. Takens, it's Nubia. And Uatet, also Wa, Wawat is lower Nubia. Utes Hero is Etfu. And Hero Behutet is the house of. Etfu became to be identified with Re Horakti. And here you can see the winged disc. You know, only a pair of falcon wings were a symbol for the heaven. You know, what the Nazis have, what the Jaywalkers have, and in the film, the Alien Covenant. You know, it's um, there are falcon wings under the fifth dynasty. A sun disk was inserted between the wings called Beheti. He or the colorful feathers, and the symbol was identified with Horus. And here again, here are the two snakes, just like in the Jay Walker army badge where they have a snake, and it's the same thing, you know, the 101. And two um, Urai surrounding the disk were added during the late Old Kingdom. You know, the snakes, the uh, Uri, the cobra snakes. And here's Astertet, the workers in metal, makers and users of metal as opposed to the stone weapons. 
Um, yeah. Yes, Horus having in his hand an iron spear and a chain. In Egypt, the oldest iron tool dates to the new kingdom, but the use of iron became common only a few cent centuries uh, later. So, okay, so after the land of the south, we're here, chapter 14. Uh, I'm getting a dry throat. Maybe I need a beer or two. <laughs> No, I won't do it. Okay, chapter 14. Then the God Tot spake after he had looked upon the enemies lying upon the ground, saying, Let your hearts rejoice, O ye gods of heaven. Let your hearts rejoice, O ye gods who are in the earth. Horus, the youthful one, cometh in peace, and he hath made manifest his journey deeds of very great might, which he hath performed according to the book of slaying the hippopotamus. And from the day figures, Hero Behutet in metal have existed. Then Hero Behutet took upon himself the form of the winged disc. There we have it again. Eh? And he placed himself upon the front of the boat of Ra. And he placed by his side the goddess Nekebet and the goddess Uachet in the form of two serpents. All right that they might make the enemies to quake in all their limbs. When they were in the forms of crocodile and hippopotami in every place wherein became in the land of the south and in the land of the north. So the land of the north is the Pertasser, which is the red house of Pharaoh. And you see already here, you know, they, um, they differentiate between the two lands. And it's uh, the old world's order in the north, which is the um, the land of the north, and the uh, the new world's order in the south, which I already explained to you uh, in my uh, in my videos. So we're here. Then those enemies rose up. You see, they got an internal war, you know. And those enemies rose up to make their escape from before him, and their face was towards the land of the south, the White House, the Pertasser. And their hearts were stricken down through fear of him. And Hero Behutet was at the back or side of them in the boat of Ra. And there were in his hands a metal lance and a metal chain. And the metal workers who were with their Lord were equipped for fighting with lances and chains. And with blows that kill and tot set to Ra, that place is called the city Chechmet until this, until this day. And Hero Behutet made a great overthrow among them, and Ra said, Stand still, O Hero Behutet, and that place is called Het Ra to this day. And the God who dwelleth therein is Hero Behutet Ra Imzu, or Min. Then those enemies rose up to make their escape from before him, and the face of the God was towards the land of the north, and their hearts were stricken through fear of him. And Hero Behutet was at the back or side of them in the boat of Ra, and those who were the metal workers which he had with them. And he passed the whole day before he saw them to the northeast of the known of Tentyra. Then Ra said unto Tod, The enemies are resting, their lord. And the majesty of Ra Harmaki said to Hero Behutet, thy, Thou art my exalted son, who didst proceed from not. The courage of the enemies hath failed in a moment, and Hero Behutet made great slaughter among them, and Tot said, The winged disc shall be called in the name of this At, and is called Hero Behutet, its mistress. His name is to the south in the name of this god, and the Akacha and the Sycamore. You know, that's why the Akacha is the holy tree for the Freemasons. Eh? They talk about the Akacha. Uh, the Akatsha shall be trees of the sanctuary, you know, and this is why. Then the enemies turned aside to flee from before him, and the faces were towards the north, and they went to the swamps of Watch Ur, and courage failed through fear of him, and Hero Behutet was at the back or side of them in the boat of Ra. 
and the metal spear was in his bands, and those who were in his following were equipped with the weapons for battle of the metal workers. And the gods spent four days and four nights in the water in pursuit of him. But he didn't see one of the enemies who fled from before him in the water in the forms of crocodiles and hippopotami. At length he found and saw them, and Ra said unto them, Horus of heaven, O winged disc. You see, Horus is the uh, the winged sun disc. You know, so the guy with the, uh, the, the same thing or the sun around his head is Horus, yeah. All religion comes out of Pharaoh, out of Egypt. Thou great God and Lord of heaven, seize thou them. And he hurled his lance after them, and he slew them, and worked a great overthrow of them. And he brought 142 enemies to the forepart of the boat of Ra. And with him was a male hippopotamus, which had been among those enemies, and he hacked them in pieces with his knife. And he gave their entrails to those who were in his following, and he gave their carcasses to the, their carcasses to the gods and goddesses who were in the boat of Ra, in the river bank of the city of Heaven. Then Ra said unto Tot, See what mighty things Hero Behutet hath performed in his deeds against the enemies. Verily he he bath smitten them, smitten them. And of the male hippopotamus, he hath opened the mouth, and he hath speared it, and he hath mounted upon its back. Then Ra said Tot to Ra, Horus shall be called the winged disc, great god, smiter of the enemies in the town of heaven. Uh, from this day forward, and he shall be called he who standeth on the back and prophet of this God from this day forward. These are the things which happened in the lands of the city of heaven in a region which measured 342 measures uh, on the south and on the north and on the west and on the east. 342. So you see, it says everywhere that Horus shall be called the winged disc, the winged sun disc and the great great god and this is why the nazis they took it and the um the jj bays with the jaywalker they think they finally got their own country but they got betrayed you know by by the pharaohs who were ruling over them on october the 7th 2023 when they got slaughtered nobody was there to protect them and they were all hoping for that yeah it's all the same so here it says, in Egypt, the oldest, uh, slaying the hippopotamus since the old kingdom, a feast was held in Lower Egypt during which the pharaoh killed a white hippo. Uh, Nekebet, Nekbet, goddess of Upper Egypt in the south, the White House, often shown in the shape of a vulture. The Wajet, the, the, the goddess of Lower Egypt, you know, the two crowns, one is the Wajet and the Nekbet. The two serpents on the pharaonic crown, they symbolized the lands of Egypt. So this is what we see, the two serpents uh, on, the, um, on the winged uh, sun disk. So the wadjet on the left, this one here, the wadjet, and the neck bed on the, on the right. And this is Upper Egypt, if I remember right, and this is Lower Egypt. This is the White House, the New World's Order, and this is the um, the Red House, the Old World's Order. And they put them all together, and then they had peace. You know. uh, Dendera, Tantira, not in the Hel Heliopolitan tradition, the goddess of heaven, mothers of the sun, and the stars about which is said they enter her mouth and re-emerge from her womb. Well, didn't we see that in the alien movie, right? The beast coming into the mouth and the nose and whatever, and they come out of the womb or out of the stomach. It's all pharaonic, people. She received the epithet, epithet so devouring her uh, piglets. The Akatsha swamps of Watsur, the northern part of the Nile Delta. And he hacked them into pieces with his knife. Mutilation of fallen enemies, you know, just like the Philistines they do, like in, in the JJ base, was a common practice among the Egyptians. 
de namen Pallet for Decapitation, Karnak Reliefs, Cutting of Hands and Genitals. Well, we saw that on October 7th, hey? The Philistines were doing that. And maybe it was not the Philistine people at all, but I mean, there's also the Arab nobility. And uh, they are pure pharaohs. And they probably did that so there will be a war between the Philistines and the Jaywalkers. I mean, it was all a setup, you see? It's, it's typically a pharaonic tradition to cut off the hands and the genitals. And this is what the Hamas did. They, male hippos were, and, and the Hamas, they even, well, they, they even treat their own people very badly. So here you got the horrors of Edfu. The, the, the whole text, what I'm reading to you, is called the horrors of Edfu. And Horus the Falcon, he's having the two crowns here, yeah, slaying his enemies. So here, chapter 15. Then the enemies rose up before him by the lake of the north, and their faces were set towards Wachur, which they desired to reach by sailing. By the gods smote their hearts, and they turned and fled in the water. And they directed their course to the water of the gnome of Mertet Ament, and they gathered himself to it together in the water of Mertet in order to join themselves with the enemies who serve. Set and who are in this region, and Hero Behutet followed them, being equipped with all his weapons of war to fight against them. And Hero Behutet made a journey in the boat of Ra, together with the great God who was in his boat, with those who were his followers, and he pursued them on the lake of the north twice, and passed one day and one night sailing down the river in pursuit of them before he perceived and overtook them, for he knew not the place where they were. Then he arrived at the city of Per Rehu. Remember Per, it means the house, the house of Rehu. Uh, so that's a, a, a nobility house, a royal house, an aristocratic house. It's not a real house to live in. And the majesty of Ra said unto Hero Behutet, What hath happened to the enemies? They have gathered together themselves in the water to the west of the gnome of Mertet. And Mer, it means the pyramid. In order to unite themselves with the enemies who serve Set and who are in this region at the place where are are our staff and scepter. You know, this is the battle between Set and Horus, uh, where he lost one eye. And again here, um, yeah, here it says Horus uh, is, a pharaoh was identified with uh, Horus since the beginning and hero behutet which is all the time he's fighting set is the horus of atfu came to be identified with rehorakti and this is his symbol the winged sun disk first without the snakes and later on with the snakes and again the same snakes as on the um the army thing of the jaywalkers yeah Uh, where was I? And um, hmm. and Tot said unto Ra, Wast in the gnome of Mertet is called Waset, because of this unto this day, and the lake which is in it, it is called Tempt. Then Hero Behutet spake in the presence of his father Ra, saying, I beseech thee to set thy boat against them, so that I may be able to perform against them that which Ra willeth, and this was done. So, you know, you see, Hero Behutet, Horus, Heru, Horus, yeah, and he's talking to his father, you know, didn't Jesus do this all the time, talking to about his father, talking to his father? And having the sun and all the paintings around his head, you know. Then he made an attack upon them and on the lake, which was at the west, the west of this district. And he perceived them on the bank of the city, which belongeth to the lake of Mertet, where the pyramid is. Eh? 
Then Hero Behut had made an expedition against them, and his followers were with him, and they were provided with weapons of all kinds for battle, and he wrought a great overthrow among them, and he brought in 381 enemies, and he slaughtered them in the forepart of the boat of Ra, and he gave one of them to each of those who were in his train. Then Set rose up and came forth and raged loudly with words of cursing and abuse because of the things which Hero Behutet had done in respect of the slaughter of the enemies. And Ra said unto Tot, This friend Nehaha Ra uttereth words of the t- at the top of his voice because of the things which Hero Behutet had done unto him. And Tot said unto Ra, Cries of this kind shall be called Nehahara unto this day. And Hero Behute did battle with the enemy for a period of time, and he hurled his iron lance at them, and he threw him down on the ground in this region which is called pa unto this day. And Hero Behute came and brought the enemy with him, and his spear was in his neck, and his chain was round in his hands and arms, and the weapon of Horus had fallen on his mouth and had closed it. And he went with him before his father Ra, who said, O Horus, thou winged disc. Huh? Horus is the winged disc, yeah? Nazis in the, in the, the Jay Walker army thing and, and, and the alien covenant. It's, it's everywhere. Twice great Urui Tenten is the deed of valor which thou hast done. And thou hast cleansed the district. And Ra said unto Tod, The palace of Hero Behutet shall be called Lord of the district which is cleansed before, because of this. And thus is it called unto this day. And the name of the priest thereof is called Urtenten unto this day. And Ra said unto Tod, Let the enemies and set be given over to Isis and her son Horus. And let them work all their heart's desires upon them. And she and her son Horus, eh? Horus is the son of Set of Isis, set themselves in position with the spears in him at the time when there was storm or disaster in the district, and the lake of the god was called She and Ha Ha. From that day to this, then Horus, the son of Isis, cut off the head of the enemy, Set, yeah, and the heads of his of his fans in the presence of Father Ra and of the great company of the gods, and he dragged them by his feet through his district with his spear driven through his head head and back. And Ra said unto Tot, Let the son of Osiris drag the being of disaster through his territory. And Tot said, It shall be called Ate. And this hath been the name of the region from that day to this. And Isis, the divine lady, spake before Ra, Let the exalted winged disc become the amulet of my son Horus, who hath cut off the head of the enemy and the heads of his friends. And it says here to the right, uh, the festival of sailing. There were a number of sailing festivals. One was the sailing of Hathor, celebrating the marriage of Hathor and Horus of Edfu. The hissing serpent set both protected the sun god from the serpent Apophis on his nightly journeys through the underworld and himself endangered him in the shape of a serpent. He was at times identified with Apophis himself. Hem- Hemet, the place of the roar set, was also associated with thunder. So you see, it's an internal fight within Pharaoh. You know, what I've been talking about, you know between the republicans and the um and the royalists which is going on for a long time and this is why um, some of them they have the uh the winged sun disc of horus and the other ones they have another symbol you know thus hero behooted and horus the son of isis slaughtered that evil enemy and his fans in the inner foes and came forth with them to the water on the west side of this district, and Hero Behutet was in the form of a man of mighty strength, and he had the face of a hawk. There we go. It's a hawk, Horus the hawk. And his head was crowned with the white crown and the red crown, you know, 
the Perhet and the Pertasser, the White House and the Red House. They put them all together because the battle was won and they could make one kingdom with the two crowns. And with two plumes and two Urea. The Ure, Ureus snakes are the cobra snakes. And he had the back of a hawk, and his spear and his chain were in his hands. And Horus, the son of Isis, transformed himself into a similar shape, even as Hero Behutet had done before him. And they slew the enemies all together on the west of Per Rehu, on the edge of the stream. And this god hath sailed over the water, wherein the enemies had banded themselves together against him from that day to this. So you see, the battle is still going on. Two world wars. Now these things took place, two world wars and the same symbols. Now these things took place on, on the seventh day of the first month of the season, Pert. And Todd said, this region's, region shall be called at Shatet, And this hath been the name of the region from the day unto this. And the lake which is close by it hath been called Tent from that day to this. And the seventh day of the first month of the season, Pert, had been called the festival of sailing from that, that day to this. Then Seth took upon himself the form of a hissing serpent. Now it's getting very biblical. Seth, you know, the lord of the underworld is being a snake, you know, and talking to Eve, you know, and you know, let's take a bite of the apple. And he entered into the earth in this district without being seen, and Ra said, Set hath taken upon himself the form of a hissing serpent. Let Horus, the son of Isis, in the form of a hawk, headed staff, set himself over the place where he is, so that the serpent may never more appear. And Tot said, Let this district be called Hemhemet by name, and thus hath it been called from that day to this. And Horus, the son of Isis, in the form of a hawk, Headed staff took up this his abode there with his mother Isis. In this manner did these things happen. Then the boat of Ra arrived at the town of Het Aha. Its forepart was made of palm wood, and the hind part was made of acacia wood. Thus the palm tree and the acacia tree have been sacred trees from that day to this. Freemasons, they do a lot with acacia. Then Hero Behutet embarked in the boat of Ra. After he had made an end of fighting and sailed, and Ra said unto Tot, Let this boat be called. And thus hath it been called from that day to this. And these things have been done in commemoration in this place from that day to this. And Ra said unto Hero Behutet, Behold the fighting of the smite Fend, and his twofold strength, and the smy Fen set, and upon the water of the north, and they will sail down stream upon. And Hero Behutet said, Whatsoever thou commandest shall take place, O Ra, Lord of the gods, grant thou, however, that this thy boat may pursue them into every place with whosoever they shall go, and I will do them whatsoever pleaseth Ra. And everything was done according to what he had said. Then this boat of Ra was brought by the winged sun disk upon the waters of the lake of Meh. Meh is also a pyramid. As Mer. And Hero Behutte took in his hands his weapons, his dart, and his harpoon, and all the chains which he required for the fight. And Hero Behutte looked and saw one of these Sebau fans and there on the spot, and he was by himself, and he threw one metal dart and brought or dragged them along straightway and he slaughtered them in the presence of Ra and he made an end of them and there were no more of his fans of Set in this place at that moment. Um, yeah, the Ast Ab Hero is the place of desire of Horus. Aket Shait, oh that's funny, season of Inundation from mid July to mid November of the Nile, yeah. Peret, it's per et, per is the house. Season of growth from mid November to mid March. Anrut, place where nothing grows, myth, mythological near Heracleopolis. Kenan has been translated as Jasper, Astnefer, beautiful place, Shoinoi. 
uh, which is an Egyptian message, is equal to 60 stadia according to Herodot uh, Herodotus. Yeah. And Tot said, this place shall be called Ast Ab uh, Hero, because Hero Behut had brought his desire upon them, for instance, the enemy. And he passed six days and six nights coming into port on the waters thereof and did not see one of them. And he saw them fall down in the watery depths, and he made ready the place of Ast Ab Hero there. It was situated on the bank of the water, and the face, for instance, direction there was full front towards the south. And all the rites and ceremonies of Hero Behutet were performed on the first day of the first month of the season Aket, and on the first day of the first month of the season Pert, and on the 21st and 24th days on the, of the second month of the season Pert. These are the festivals in the towns or town of Astab by the side of the south in Anrut F. And he came into port and went against them, keeping watch as for a king over the great god Anrut F. in this place in order to drive away the enemy and his Smayu fans at his coming by night from the region of Mertet from, uh, to the west of this place. And Hero Behutet was in the form of a man who possessed great strength with the face of a hawk, as he was crowned with the white crown of Upper Egypt, the bear head, and the red crown, you know, of the uh, of uh, Lower Egypt of the Pertasser and the two plumes on the uh, Urarit crown, and there were the two Urei. Uraeus snakes, cobra snakes upon his head. His hand grasped firmly his harpoon to slay the hippopotamus, which was as hard as the cannon stone in its mountain bed. And Ra said unto Tot, Indeed, Hero Behutet is like a master fighter in the slaughter of his enemies. And Tot said unto Ra, He shall be called Nep Ahau, the master fighter, and for this reason he had been thus called by the priest of this god unto this day. And Isis made incantations of every kind in order to drive away the fan of Ra, the fan Ra from Anrut F and from the great god in this place. And Tot said unto Ra, The priestess of this god shall be called by the name of Nepthekah for this reason. And Todd said unto Ra, Beautiful, beautiful is this place wherein thou hast taken up thy seat, keeping watches for a king over the great God, who is in Anrut F in peace. And Todd said, This great house, the great house, it's the Per A, where the word Pharaoh is from. So the great house, it means Pharaoh, the house of um, the, 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 the big house, which is a royal house. And they're all over the world, this royal house. You know? So you see, the great house in this place shall therefore be called Astnefert from this day. And Astnefert, it means a beautiful place. You know? It is situated to the southwest of the city Nart and covered a space of four Shoinoi. And Rahero Behutet said unto Tot, uh, hast thou not searched through this water for the enemy? And Tot said, The water of the God house in this place shall be called by the name of He. And Ra said, Thy ship, O Heru Behutet, is great upon Antmer. And Tot said, The name of thy ship shall be called Ur. And this stream shall be called Antmer. As concerning the place Abat is situated to the shore of the water. As Nefert is the name of the great house. Neb Aha is the name of the priest, is the name of the priestess. He is the name of the lake, is the name of the water. Ein Hernet is the name of the holy acacia tree. Neterhet is the name of the domain of the god. Uru is the name of the sacred boat. The gods therein are Heru Behutet, the smiter of the lands, Horus, the son of Isis, and Osiris. His blacksmiths are to him, and those who are in his following are to him in his territory. With his metal lance, with his maze, with his dagger, and with all his chains or fetters, which are in the city of Hero Behutet. And when he had, had reached the land of the north, with his followers he found the enemy. 
Now as for the blacksmiths who were over the middle regions, they made a great slaughter of the enemy and they were brought back 106 of them. Now as for the blacksmiths of the west, they brought back 106 of the enemy. Now as for the blacksmiths of the east, among whom was Herobehutet, he slew them. For instance, the enemy in the presence of Ra in the middle domains. And Ra said unto Tod, my heart is satisfied with the work of these blacksmiths, O Hero, Behutet, who are in his bodyguard. They shall dwell in four sanctuaries. You know, this is this is like Switzerland, you know, going to the west, where they speak French, to the north, they speak German, to the south, Italian, and to the east. Four languages, you know, four directions. This is what they're talking about. And libations and purifications and offerings shall be made to their images, and they shall be appointed for them. Priests who shall minister by the month, and priests who shall minister by the hour in all their godhouses whatsoever as their reward, because they have slain the enemies of the god. And Todd said, the middle domain shall be called after the names of these blacksmiths from this day onwards. And the god who dwelleth among them, Hero Behut, it shall be called the Lord of Messent from this day onwards, and the domain shall be called Messent of the West from this day onwards. Their stream shall be called the name of Asti, their, their great house shall be called Abet, the priest shall be called Ken-Aha, and their domain shall be called Kao Mesent from this day onwards. So this is this is a original pharaonic text. If you don't understand this, you will never understand um, history and the world wars and what's going on. You will never understand Switzerland, etc. Because these are the ones who are ruling over us and their symbols are all over, even in the videos like, uh, you know, so here, Horus of Behutet in the shape of a lion. You know, this is the nobility, they're having the lion, you know. And also the, uh, like the King of David, you know, in the Bible and for the jaywalkers and whatever, the lion, you know. Uh, this is the country of Stasti, Lower Nubia. The land of the lily, you know, Lower Egypt. The uh, Fleur de Lis, you know. Land of the papyrus is Upper Egypt. And Lower Egypt, that's the Old World Order. That's why the uh, Fleur de Lis. You know. In the north, the Red House of Egypt, that's the Old World Order, the vertical rule. See, it all fits. And Ra said, so I'm reading chapter 18, and Ra said unto Hero Behutit, these enemies have sailed up the river to the country of Setet, to the end of the pillar house of Hat, and they have sailed up the river to the east of the country of Chalt or Chart, which is their region of swarms. And Herobehutet said, Everything which thou hast commanded hath come to pass. Ra, Lord of the gods, thou art the Lord of commands. And they untied the boat of Ra, and they sailed up the river to the east. And he looked upon those enemies, whereof some of them had fallen into the sea or river, and the others had fallen headlong on the mountains. And Hero Behute transformed himself into a lion, which had the face of a man, and which was crowned with the triple crown. His paw was like unto a flint knife, and he went round and round by the side of him, and brought back 142 of the enemy, and he rent them in pieces with his claws. He tore out their tongues and their blood flowed on the ridges of the land in this place. And he made them the property of those who were in his following whilst he was upon the mountains. And Ra said unto Tot, Behold, Heru Behutet is like unto a lion in his lair. He is on the back of the enemy who have given unto him their tongues. And Tot said, This domain shall be called Kent upt, and it shall also be called Chalt or Chart from this day onwards. And the bringing of the tongues from the remote places of Chalt shall be commemorated from this day onwards. And this God shall be called Hero Behutet, Lord of Mesent from this day onwards. And Ra said unto 
Um, and Ral said unto Hero, Behuted, let us sail to the south up to the river and let us smite the enemies who are in the forms of crocodiles and hippopotami in the face of Egypt. And Hero Behuted said, Thy divine Ka, O Ra, Lord of the gods, let us sail up the river against the remainder, one third of the enemies who are in the water. You say, they say here, Thy divine Ka. That's what I told you. It means the, the living soul, like in America, in Canada, whatever, you know. And that means their souls are, are living there, you know, the souls of the kings, you know, the Lord of the gods. Then Tot recited the chapters of protecting the boat of Ra and the boats of the blacksmiths, which he used for making tranquil the sea at the moment when a storm was raging on it. And Ra said unto Tot, have we not journeyed throughout the whole land? Shall we not journey cover the whole sea in like manner? And Todd said, This water shall be called the sea of journeying from this day onward. And they sailed about over the water during the night, and they did not see any of those enemies at all. Then they made a journey forth and arrived in the country of Tasti, Tatsi, Tasti, at the town of Shashertet. And he perceived the most able of the enemies in the country of Wuha. And they were uttering treason against Horus their lord, and Hero Behuta changed his form into that of the winged disc, and took his place above the bow of the boat of Ra, and he made the goddess Nekebet and the goddess Uachit to be with him in the form of serpents, so they might make the Sebao fans to quake in all their limbs or bodies, their boldness subsided through the fear of him they made no resistance whatsoever and they died straight away then the gods who were in the following of the boat of hero kuti said great great is that which he had done among them by means of the two serpent goddesses for he hath overthrown the enemy by means of their fear of him and ra hero kuti said the great one of the two serpent goddesses of hero behuted shall be called ur watch you from this day onwards so here's chapter 19 i think it's the last one yeah it's the last one um utter of the north is uh, the northern half of the heaven apophis or a punt fenet is punt a land to the south of egypt uh, i think it's somalia or over there you know and uh, the winged beetle. Oh, yeah. So, the last part, eh? then we have it. And Hero Kuti traveled on his boat and landed at the city of Tes Heru. And Tot said, The being of light who hath come forth from the horizon hath smitten the enemy in the form which he hath made, and he shall be called being of the light. Who hath come forth from the horizon from this day onwards. You know, the, the Horus, the being of light, yeah, the light bearer. Yeah. And Ra Hero Kuti said to Tot, Thou shalt make this winged disc to be in every place wherein I sit for myself or dwell, or and in the seeds of the gods in the south, and in all in all the seeds of the gods in the land of the north, in the country of Horus, that it may drive away the evil ones from their domains. Then Tot made this the image of the winged disc to be in every sanctuary and in every temple. You know, the winged sun disc of Horus. You know, you, that's why, you know, you find it everywhere, all over the world. And I say the Nazis, the Alien Covenant film, the Jaywalkers in their army, and and the 101, it means the uh, the uh, sun hieroglyph, which I filmed everywhere, you know, on fronts of houses. And it means the 101. You know, I've, I've explained that to you in my uh, Room 101 series. And um, so th this is really, this is an original pharaonic text, you know, translated. It's thousands of years old. Before, you know, all the world wars and the Bible and whatever, you know. And this is the light bearer, you know. This is Horus. And, uh, and, and you find this creature like uh, uh, building new worlds, you know, like on the, uh, the, the badges. 
So there is a war going on, you know, the war of the gods or the war, the invisible war between good and evil, and it's still going on today. And we don't even know what it is about or what it, what it is from, this war. It's all from Pharaoh, you know. Then Tot made the image of the winged disc to be in every sanctuary, in every temple where they now are, wherein are all the gods and all the goddesses from this day onwards. Now, through the winged disc, which is on the temple buildings of all the gods and all the goddesses of the land of the lily, you know, and the land of the papyrus, become shrines of Hero Behutet. As concerning Hero Behutet, the great god, the lord of heaven, the president of the utter of the south, he it is who is made to be on the right hand. This is Hero Behutet, on whom the goddess Nekebit is placed in the form of a serpent or Uraeus, cobra snake. As concerning Hero Behutet, the great god, the lord of heaven, the lord of mess, and the president of Atar of the north, he it is who is made to be on the left hand. This Hero Behutet, on whom the goddess Watabit is placed, is in the form of a serpent. As concerning, you see, to this god, the hero behooted, in the, is in the form of a serpent, you know, the devil. As concerning hero behooted, the great god, the lord of heaven, the lord of mess, and the president of the two ateri of the south and north, Ra hero kuti set it, for instance, the winged disc in this every place to overthrow the enemies in every place wherein they are, and he shall be called president of the two Aterti of the south and north because of this form, this from this day onwards. As for this morning star on the east of heaven, to lightens the two lands with his eyes, he is Horus of Bedet, great lord. Great God, Lord of heaven, who overthrows the enemy in the east in the course of every day. Adoration of this God, utterance, hail to your morning star, hail to your horrors, hail to your horrors of bed, that great God, Lord of heaven, you overthrow Apophis and the enemies uh, on the east of heaven, in heaven, earth, water, and the mountains, and they shall never raise their heads. You overthrow all the enemies of the son of Re in heaven, earth, water, and the mountains. As for on the west of Pfenet, who rises in the evening on the west of heaven, and whose rays pervade the two lands, he is Horus of Bedet. He is called the Lone Star, and men see by his beauty, adoration of his God. Utterance, hail to you, lone star, star on the west of planet, hail to you, Horus who strides, hail to you, Horus of Bedet, the living and great one who came forth from the nun. You overthrow Apophis and the enemy on the east of heaven, in heaven, earth, water, and the mountains, and they shall never raise themselves. May your face, may your fair face be kindly to the son of Re. Ptolemy, who lives forever, beloved of Ptah. As for the winged beetle, which is on the shrines of all the gods and goddesses of Upper and Lower Egypt, he is Horus of Bedet, great god, lord of heaven, who overthrows Apophis and the enemies and foes and the evil counsel in their ways, the living and the dead, are inscribed with his name, as is done for his father, Re Harakta, to his day. The king shall act on the day on which trouble and strife occur. A winged beetle in writing shall be made on his breast where he sees trouble, just as Re Harakta did when he saw the trouble of son of Re, its face being that of a falcon. Horus the falcon, son of Re, lips those of a vulture and its body that of a beetle. Be far from him, O oh, you foes, you evil counsel, you men. God, spirits, and dead Apophis, you foe of the son of Re, Ptolemy, who lives forever, beloved of Ta. He is the God's avenger who came forth from Bedet, and Horus of Bedet is his name. Be far from him, O you who are in the train of Re, you who are in the train of Shu, you who are in the train of Geb, you who are in the train of Horus, 
You who are in the train of Set, the son of Ra, Ptolemy, who lives forever, beloved of Ptah, he is the God's avenger who came forth from Bedet, and Horus of Bedet is his name. To be repeated four times, then shall the king himself say, I am the God's avenger who came forth from Bedet, and Horus of Bedet is my name to be repeated four times. Let his utterance be recited when trouble occurs, and the king shall not be afraid, but his foes will be slain before him, and his heart will rejoice over them immediately, and each one will slay his fellow immediately, as befell the enemies of Reharakte when Horus of Bedet flew against them as the great winged disc. This image shall be made with the face of the king to this day. And to this day, I say, we see it all over in the videos of 2017, the Nazi era, even in the JJ base. This image here, it says here, of the winged disc shall be made with the face of the king to this day. To this day, I tell you. So the whole you know, info warrior thing, it started with the Zeitgeist movie. You remember? This is where it all started with. And then we got the uh, the nine, um, uh, well, the number, you know, starts with the nine. And it starts with a double one. I can't pronounce it, you know. And, um, well, maybe now it ends, you know, the Zeitgeist movie, it ends with this here, what I just read to you. So if you don't know about ancient Egypt and the Horus winged sun disk, you will never understand this, nor will you understand this, nor will you understand Switzerland, nor will you and so forth, a Swissy.